All right, so we're hanging out with the Vintage Soul Motorcycle Show here in Prior Lake, Minnesota, and we are with the man himself, Kevin Teach Bass. Kevin, Woo! how are you doing? I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great. It's a beautiful day. So many cool bikes. Appreciate Dennis Kirk and all you guys do for us, man. You need stuff. We know that we order from you. You ship today. It's awesome. And, you know, this is just a, a, a big gathering of good souls, people that like to have a good time, like to see old bikes, and no BS, you know. And that's why, like, I love having you guys on board and all the good sponsors that we have this year because everybody is real deal, trustworthy, true, true blue, you know, do what they say kind of people, man. And when you walk around and look at all this happiness and camaraderie and the old bikes, man, it makes, makes my soul scream. Oh man, the old bikes, it's just, it's amazing, like, here we are in Minnesota, right? We know that there's big shows in California, the coast, everywhere, and we expect those bikes to make it there. But here we are in the middle of Minnesota, and we've got this collection of amazing vintage motorcycles. Kevin, what sparked you getting this show started? Well, you know, I've been in old bikes my whole life. You know, I grew up on the back of them with my dad when I was in diapers. You know, he's got pans and shovels and, uh, you know, so growing up when I got my first Harley, it was an old Sportster XLCH and I just always loved bikes. And I started teaching high school and then I was building bikes with my students and a good buddy of mine, Jared Anger, who was in the old bikes that I've known through the years, we both just kind of were sitting out and they like, you know what, man, there's all, like you said, there's bike shows all over the country that are really cool. But there's really nothing, you know, right here in our backyard. Like, why not start something? So we're like, well, let's just give it a shot. And we weren't, we weren't really trying to break any records or even, you know, make any quota. We just said, let's just, let's just throw it out there. Tell a couple buddies. Throw it on my Instagram. And that first year, man, we had like, I think we had 20 knuckleheads and 30 panheads. And we're like, oh, we're on to something because yeah. a lot of the guys you see at this show don't bring their bikes to all these other shows. Sure. This is, these are the guys that, you know what, this is a cool little bar, they like this, they don't want to be walking around a million bedazzled jeans and, you know, <laughs> bandana salesmen. They just want a good old time with some honky-tonk music and everybody's smiling here. There's no, there's no attitudes, you know, it's all good vibes. Oh, and that's what we've noticed walking around, just amazing people, real classy people with just awesome machines that they're putting a lot of their blood, sweat, and tears into. It's amazing to see. So, Kevin... What has jumped out to you so far? Has there been one or two specific bikes that's just been jumping out at you? Well, you know, as you probably know with me, I'm into the knuckleheads, you yeah, know, so yeah. seeing a whole row of knuckleheads really behind good. me, it, it makes my soul sing, you know, and I love all bikes. We got a lot of good metrics over there. We got a lot of good uh, British bikes. We got all kinds of cool Harleys, you name it. And what we love about this, though, is we embrace the two wheels, you know. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. My bike may not be the other guy's cup of tea, and his might not be mine, but we both appreciate each other and what they're doing, and they're riding, and they're on yeah. two wheels, and they're smiling. And to me, every one of these bikes is a winner. It's, it's perfect. There's no wrong thing that you could do on these bikes. It's, it's all the individual, and that's what makes these shows fun, is you see so many different styles and different things with the bikes. Like you said, it's in our backyard. We love to support the garage builder and everything that they have to do, and you're seeing it right here. So, Kevin, man, Hey. Thanks for talking with us. It's great. It's going to get better, so stick around. There's probably going to be another 100 bikes showing up before we're done here, so it's going to get good. Right on, man. Thank you. All right.